Thank you very much. The first, the first thing I want to say is that the Brain Foundation supports younger researchers and I'm not the prim primary chief investigator. Uh, Theo was an honour student of mine many years ago and in my retirement I've come back to do my re do research and support his activities. So you, you can imagine how pleased I am that the Brain Foundation supporting his, his research and I'm giving my labour in the lab for this, this project I'm talking about today. Now, following on from the, the, the exciting uh, findings we had from the previous uh, um, speaker and award, we're interested in um, brain, brain tumours. Every day in Australia, four people are diagnosed with a brain tumour. Some of these are benign, but unfortunately, many of them are malignant. And patients go through uh, surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy and new experimental drugs. But unfortunately, in the last 20 or so years, only about 23% of these people reach five, five years from diagnosis. And those that do survive have terrible side effects from these uh, chemo drugs and the other drugs that they're, they're treated with. So what we want to do is find ways of killing these cancer cells that are much are much better tolerated. And in the lab, in Theo's lab, they're interested in um, cell signaling. And what they found is with a particular set of molecules uh, they could stimulate more normal activity in these cells and it kills them. Now these molecules are not approved for use in humans, but they have the same sort of um, physical properties as many drugs that are actually used in um, in the neurology sphere. In fact, one, one drug is, is used for um, treating depression. A number of other drugs um, uh, approved for, for Alzheimer's disease. So what we want to do is short, tra short um, um, track using already existing FDA approved drugs to kill, kill cancer cells. And we hope that with a combination of these already approved drugs and the mechanism that we find that actually kills these cells, we will be able to give patients a better outcome with much lower degree of um, symptoms. So we can imagine a situation if, for example, a drug that was used to treat anxiety was given to um, a patient with brain, um, brain cancer, will have a dual, dual benefit one treating the anxiety, but also helping to kill um, um, the cancer. So I'm very pleased to accept this award for, for Theo, who is much younger than I am, and thank, and thank the Brain Foundation, because uh, when I joined the, the lab a few uh, months ago, I was looking at the budget and thinking, this works really good. Uh, how are we going to find money? And Theo has managed to, to convince the reviewers. So I'm very, very happy thank for you. him.